Welcome to Pop Turnative, where we dive into topical discussions from the worlds of pop culture, social media, and sports. Here is your host, Peter Romoliotis, aka PD Beats. PD Beats from Pop Turnative here, speaking to Asia, Diego, Jesse, available. There's someone inside your house coming to Netflix October 6th. Thank you all for your time. Welcome to the show. Thank you. For hey, having thank us. you. <laughs> I mean, Asia, you know, October's around the corner. We will love a good horror film. I mean, how excited are you for this film to be coming out part of Netflix and Chills and everyone's going to be able to see it? Oh, we are so excited. I'm I'm even excited and I'm terrified of horror films. But I think I think ours is, I'm not trying to be biased, but I think ours is like one of the best. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> I, I love this film. Jesse, I really enjoy your character in this film. What was it like kind of look like playing this character and seeing this character on the script and then putting this character to life on the screen. Yeah, you know, honestly, it was really cool. I'm gender fluid uh, and I don't see like a lot of gender fluid characters that I get to audition for. So I jumped at it immediately. Darby is basically me in high school. I was obsessed with space. It was weird. I'm still not over it. I'm still obsessed. And just getting to like bring something that was really authentically myself to the screen was really cool. Dale, an ensemble cast. Everyone does an amazing job. Um, a lot of complex characters. They're going to see that with a lot of characters, including your character. I mean, is that something you've noticed right away as well, how complex a lot of these characters actually are? Yeah, I think a, a lot of horror movies tend to, to drift towards the, the archetypes of like that everyone knows and loves from high school. Mm -hmm. um, but I definitely thought a lot of these characters had more depth, more layers. Uh, there was more to dig your teeth into as an actor, which I really enjoyed. And Diego, this, this project was announced and, you know, some incredible people are attached to this project from the producers, the directors, the writers. What's going through your mind when, you know, you get the role, you're going to be part of this unbelievable cast and crew, Diego? It was, it was unbelievable. I, uh, I saw that Dan and Emily Morris were attached and I love Stranger Things. I love 21 Laughs. I like what they do. Patrick, I hadn't seen Creep, but I was really excited to work with him because I'd heard great things. Henry, um, Shazam, I think it's one of the best DC um, uh, superhero films that's out there right now. Um, so yeah, it was it was an amazing experience to get to work with all of them. And I want to quickly go around the, the group of Celebrity Asia. What are you hoping they get out of it when they get to see this film on Netflix, takeaway-wise? Have you thought about that a little bit, Asia? Um, wait, someone else go first. <laughs> <laughs> I think the film really captures what a, the, the main lesson and like what most people are going to see out of the film is a great horror movie, obviously. But I think one of the main things is, is it really teaches people to not, you know, hold on to your past so much or, or let your past define you. I think that was a really important lesson that, that Stephanie Perkins obviously got across, but Henry was also very uh, talentedly and amazing, uh, was able to portray in the movie. Absolutely. Anyone else want to add to that? Dale, I think you made it harder for everyone else, I feel. I know. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> what the hell, man? <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, the talk of, of secrets. And, you know, I think with social media, you know, there can be like what you see may not be reality and people may have like other stuff going on in real life. And like maybe we don't get to know people in real life as much as we used to. And I think this film is really great about showing like we all have secrets or things in our past, but like if we come together and like tell each other like what we're going through, we can get closer and get rid of a, a serial killer. A hundred percent. Well, I want to thank you all for coming on the show very quickly. Can you plug your social medias quickly to, for so people can follow everything about what's going on with the film? A Asia, go with you quickly. Hey y'all, I'm Asia Cooper and you can follow me on Instagram under at Asia, A-S-J-H-A. Diego? Uh, hey, my name is Diego Joseph. Uh, you can follow me on Instagram at Joseph Diego, J O S E F D I E G O. Jesse? Uh, hey, my name is Jesse La Tourette. You can follow me on Instagram at Jesse La Tourette. My name is long in French, so you might have to. <laughs> and Dale? Uh, hi, hi, my name is Dale Wibley. You can follow me on Instagram and Twitter at Dale Wibley. Um, again, I'm with Jesse, long last name, so. Figure it out. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you all for your time. The film is amazing. I'm excited for everyone to be able to see it. Part of Netflix and Chills on Netflix October 6th. There's someone inside your house. Thank you very much for your time. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you so much, Peter. 
Thank you for tuning in to Poptternative. Make sure to check out our past episodes of Poptternative on YouTube. Be sure to like Poptternative on Facebook and follow us on Twitter. This has been an Autograph Communications production.